Hello, I'm Elizabeth, one of the exhibition's assistants at Ferrans Art Gallery, and today I'm chatting with Paige Graham Buckle, one of the artists from our 2020 Open exhibition. Um, Paige is a hull based artist who creates colourful characters and explores self expression through her art. This is the second time um, she's had work in one of our Ferrans Open exhibitions. So, hi, Paige, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Thanks for having me. That's uh, quite all right. I look forward to chatting with you. Um, so for people who might not have had a chance to visit our 2020 Open Exhibition, could you just give um, a quick summary of your practice? Yeah, so, well, I think you said it really well, to be honest. I do look at self-expression and usually my painters have someone who has, like, alternative styles, so you can see them behind me. I work in quite a few different mediums, so obviously I have like acrylic paintings behind me, but then I do larger like sculptural work. I have one with me today. Oh, fabulous. So kind of, the one like Ferrans is similar to this one, so I have like this kind of thing as well. And then also I make jewellery, which I'm wearing now. So oh, they're all kind of like similar, but also quite different, but I just try and spread myself across as many mediums as possible. Yeah, amazing, because you have um, both a ceramic similar to the one you've just shown us and a painting in this year's Open. And yeah, and last year I had an illustration in there. And this running theme as well, like you say, about self-expression, but also colour, is that sort of important to your work? How do you... Yeah, 100%. I just... I don't have any black in my wardrobe. I just physically cannot bring myself to wear it or look oh at it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm just really drawn to colour and just clashing colours. And I just think it makes it more of kind of like a graphic piece and makes it more like illustration based. I'm all about kind of like bold swipes of colour rather than a very detailed work. Amazing. Thank you. Um, so where do you look for inspiration when you are sort of creating new works? Um, I would say the most inspiration I get is from Instagram. It's kind of because I find fashion and makeup really inspirational. I find it from other people who choose to express themselves in a different way. People usually inspire my work because I guess I do it even in my jewellery and everything else. It's always based around a person. So I guess it's quite natural that I'd look to other people for inspiration on, you know, how to like base my work. Um, obviously things as well like films like classic films, like David Lynch films um, and music and art as well, but probably mostly like fashion. Like I work in a vintage warehouse part time and just getting a bale of 60s dresses through. I get a lot of inspiration from the fabrics and the patterns and the colours from that. Oh, amazing. Oh, it sounds like they're very rich with sort of different references and inspiration then. So are the characters yeah. themselves sort of fictitious or do you say they're sort of based on people you know or, or have seen on Instagram? No, I think in one painting, there will probably be like 50 elements of different people in them. So I don't think, I would never base one painting around one person because they are definitely made up. This devil woman is not, <laughs> not someone I know. Um, so yeah, just little elements of loads of different people, which I think makes them more interesting and gives them a bit more dimension because one person might have like an interesting hair colour. But unfortunately for me, that wouldn't be enough. They'd have to have a tattoo and piercings and an eyebrow missing and everything else. <laughs> oh, sounds great. Um, so with exhibiting, like I say, this is the second time you've had work in the open. And how do you find that experience being part of such a big, varied group show? Oh, it's great. Um, it's just being able to have, because obviously it's in Hull as well and I live in Hull. So being able to take my family to have a look around and then they're like, oh, you're such a big artist in this gallery. And they get really excited, which is really nice. And especially this year, because I was inv involved in like a crit session and met a lot of the other artists. And I started to feel um, less isolated, which is ironic <laughs> now. Um, but like I wasn't just on my own doing my own thing. I started to realise that even though I am individual, I still had a lot in common with everybody else and what they were doing. And it gave me a bit of confidence really to meet other people. Oh. Um, and I was on the radio, so that was cool. Yeah, oh, that's good. that's good to hear. Cause I guess that's what we hope that the open will sort of enable all these artists to come together. And it's something we know uh, for a fact that artists and visitors and staff as well all look forward to. So that's really, really nice to hear. And what do you think um, do you think people experience your work differently seeing it in a show like that, in a gallery, rather than sort of purchasing a piece of jewellery on your website or seeing it on Instagram? How do you think that's sort of different? Yeah, definitely. I think maybe 
on Instagram, it can maybe come across just a bit, um, just like one note, because I will work on a piece for like a month, take a picture of it on, an, on Instagram, that is a one second scroll by time. So I spent all that time creating it just for someone to look at it for a second and then that's that's done. And then they expect another piece, another piece, another mm. piece. So being able to see it in a gallery, see it as an actual work of art, understand what's gone into it, being able to see it up close. Um, yeah, I think that's really important. And sometimes on Instagram, it can just not, it doesn't have the same impact really as a gallery. Mm. And because it's not, I guess, like traditional art, seen it in a gallery something that cements it in people's heads that okay this is something she's really serious about yeah definitely and I think again something really nice that I certainly love about the open is the variety of media and like you say they've all got a place in in the gallery and alongside each other and also alongside our collection I think it, yeah it's really exciting to see such different works all brought together you kind of yeah definitely um, so I think you spoke about in your blog the difficulty of sort of finding inspiration and being creative in lockdown I know it's been a difficult time what time for everyone but um including artists and creative people how is that going for you now how are you still managing to create yeah it's been going okay I feel like it's become kind of like a new normal so now I've just got into a routine and I don't really think about all the things that I can't do anymore because they're almost just like out mm. of my head completely and now it seems like the opposite like somebody asking me to go out and go for a meal just seems so alien so it's kind of become more normal but um the, yeah because the inspiration thing sometimes if you get a bit get a bit fed up and a bit burnt out just going out and having like a day out with your friends sometimes inspiration can come naturally and you don't have to force it but there's none of that in lockdown you really do have to look for inspiration just be really like proactive with it so it's okay but I'm looking forward just to be able to switch off for the day and then if I walk by something and think wow love that and then get an idea be able to act on it rather than having to like look for films I really need to watch to get inspired okay yeah I guess like you say it's missing that sort of natural connection especially for someone who yeah um, looks to other people maybe for inspiration from sort of strangers or characters you come across so yeah, yeah 100% yeah it's difficult so do you have any top tips if other other artists are struggling to sort of feel that inspiration is there anything that's helped you (laughs) um take a few days off and like actually off because some people will just be you know scrolling looking for things you looking at artists and really like trying really hard and even when they're relaxing they're not relaxing because as artists you're kind of like stimulated by everything but don't think I'm going to relax by watching this like 1980s horror with amazing visuals just relax by watching actually trash like (laughs) Buffy the Vampire Slayer just watch it and just actually properly switch off for a couple of days and then come back to it Mm. and just see how you feel but to be honest there's not an easy way to force inspiration like I don't know how people do it when you know if you're like an illustrator and that's your job to fill briefs I don't know how some people wake up in the morning and know they've got to do it Mm. I think that's something that I'm still still learning yeah I think that's good advice for all of us in lockdown to to take a break and and be patient with ourselves I know I know it's been a a struggle definitely so I guess a final maybe maybe cruel question um do you think art for you or in general has been sort of more or less important in this sort of weird time that we find ourselves in well for me so important because I mentioned that I work part-time at a vintage warehouse and I was furloughed from my job which meant I just put all of my effort into my art and into my business as well like making jewellery so being able to get up in the morning and do that for the day it gave me a purpose you know it gave me something to keep busy keep my brain active if I didn't do if I didn't have that to do um I don't know what I would have done I think I would have been just really sad <laughs> um so and I do think art's been important now because um it doesn't need to be like really personal I just think it's just fun even just looking mm. at Instagram and seeing like a nice piece of artwork it just makes you feel something walking by something in your house that you like makes you feel something so it doesn't need to be like all oh, art saved us because obviously not but I do think it's brought happiness in this time yeah yeah I, I would definitely agree with that from a personal point of view 
thank you well thanks so much for chatting to me today uh, it's been great to hear a little bit more about about your work as ever um and i look forward to seeing what's next with all all the things you've got, you've got going on thank you